Hello. So today we are going to deal with actual cost of placing buildings. So here, if we want to build a house, a house would cost hundred wood. And here, if I here note that I have two hundred wood right now. If I click the house button and place it, now it's hundred. Similarly, if again another house now we have zero wood so if I try to place again it says not enough resources I don't have a proper UI message it's just a print screen uh, print screen right now but it's not allow the system is not allowing us to place additional buildings without having required resources so this is what we are going to work on today as you already know we have set up these resource counters using gameplay attributes within ability system that we have in the player state and we are going to use the same uh, communicate with the player state and check if we have enough resources to build the building and if yes we are going to consume that amount of resources from the ability system in the player state and place the building here so that's basically what we are going to look into today before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects i have done from my patron page once you become a member you can access anything without any limits and also here is the full playlist of this project so you can follow these episodes uh, all these episodes and build everything by yourself everything is explained here and also there is this player series is focused on using c++ mostly but here this is here i'm exclusively using low prints so if you are into that feel free to check it out as well this is another tutorial series that i did on strategy games using low prints all right i'll leave links in to everything in description below and let's get started with today's episode so first let me show you the place that i place buildings and here and in the hard i add these action buttons so you can see them in action if you select one of these characters you see this i call them action buttons here and when you click on this we get this building we go into this building place mode, uh, mode and we can place buildings like this so that happens on the click event of this button which is here so as you can see right now i'm not checking any kind of a cost like uh, how much wood i need to place this building how much gold i need i'm not doing any sort of a calculation i just place it that's what i implemented so far okay so now i want to introduce that element cost for that here if i go to my data tables i already have this actor data so i think i can add maybe add another uh, another field here to define gameplay resource attribute costs but i don't want i'm reluctant to do that because if i make any changes to this structure base structure of this table then i have to redo all this uh, values refill all these values so let's go to our c plus plus project the data header file let's add a new structure new struct in type i'll call it f at the cost Let me 
the tab but I don't really need all of these things so let me delete them except this part but I do need the actor type so keep it and then I add another T map like this build cost but instead of resource cost I'll add FKM and this I would have to add this header file here so it knows about this F gameplay attributes right now I'm not seeing any errors or anything because it's still doing its thing anyway I think this all looks good let's go to our C++ project uh, Unreal side and hit compile now let's create a new data table sorry and I have to use this table row base here otherwise it will not show up so I will recompile now the build cost PT right here right now i only need house type so i have to type uh, select house and as the cost i set wood let's say building house cost 100 wood so wait make note that i have used the same name for the raw name as the type name okay now in here let me add a new variable let's call it build et build cost Table, type sign et Build cost okay now from here before I build the actual building here this for now build option I get default here we can get the actor type get the build cost and get hit data table row and here I if I in this actor type I will get house when I'm going to build a house so if I convert this to a string and then convert into a name this will give the exact name which is house if i directly try this this will give something like e actor type colon house something like that it gives so to avoid that we can use this conversion Then here, drag this back to data. Back to build cost. Now, this map represents the cost that we need to 
the amounts that of the resources that we need to have in order to build this building and i wanna do that calculation within my player state so let's go to our player state because player state is the class that holds the ability system component within that we have the these resource attributes so here let's add the u function open and let's call it pool you build cost yeah, this function is correct it should get a dmap of all the attributes and the cost which is exactly we get this function so here at the end I'll return but initially I need to make sure if I have all the required resources so for that let's run a for loop this this format is correct is wrong we can we already have this ability system component here so from that load that is somewhat correct but this is not how it works ability system component which should be good so then we can check this if current value is uh, less than the amount required so this is actually not amount this is required amount if the current value is less than the required amount that means we don't have enough resources for at least one of the resource types so we should return false that means we can't build that but if we have enough resources for all the resource types then this return false will not be called for any of the uh, any of the elements in this tmap so then we need to actually reduce or consume the resources for that i'll actually do the same thing yeah. then deducted yeah that's what that's exactly what i want to do ability system component what we need to do and of course we need to reflect these changes in our HUD so for that I'll trigger this on resource changed function okay Actually, we don't have an interface function we didn't set up one for this so i'm gonna have to do a cast then
is it false? Let's just read. Save everything. So here you see we have 200 wood. Let's select the house. Okay. It didn't change. Okay. Wait, I think it changed. Food. because I have said food here I was looking at wood so yeah the system is working but let me set it to wood and test again here we have 200 wood select the house place now it's 100 and let's build another house now zero wood okay if I try to build another house, I get this not enough resources. Not enough resources message here. We don't have a proper UI message, it's just a print. Maybe we should add one later on. So, yeah, but I think we can stop this episode right here. And another thing we need to consider here is here, if I try to build a house and click on invert now you can see the cost is already reduced if i place it on invalid location it's not going to place place but the cost is already reduced so i think it would be better if we break into two functions this uh, check build cost and consume build cost that would be better so here, let me read. Wait, before that, why can't I read more? I will leave that for another episode because it's gonna require some changes in the base building class as well. So, yeah, I'll leave it as it is for now and let's look into that in a future episode. Okay. So thanks for watching, as always updated project files will be available for download in my Patreon page, link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments, see you in the next episode, goodbye.